welcome to April episode six of Cook It Right. Six months of chefing away. Yeah, Colin is almost ready for his Michelin star, isn't that right? <laughs> That's right. My, I'm actually <laughs> opening up my own food truck uh, as a concept, and uh, we're going to hope to get a, 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 a physical what's your, a mobile what's your, location. <laughs> what's your food truck concept? My food truck concept is um, microwave hot dogs and... <laughs> Look, as long as as long as you're selling it behind a punny name, I think that's all a food truck needs to succeed. Is a good. Uh, it'll, it'll be like a beach thing, and it'll be like microwave, and then it'll just be like oh, like a a wave, like up oh, the ocean. Boy. Oh boy! Well, it'll be hot, and then a hot dog will be surfing on it. We had time to refine that pitch, I guess. <laughs> um, yes, it looks like Colin is once again joining us from the basement. Um, uh, can you just blink twice to let us know you're okay? Uh oh. Oh well. Okay, I think there were two. I think there were two in there. Um, Those were accidental. I'm very much not okay. <laughs> um. Yes, but this month's. <laughs> yes, that's right. This is not my basement. I do want to be super clear. Colin and I are on opposite sides of the country. I am not responsible for his well-being. Yes, keep up the illusion. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we came here to talk about cooking. Um, to recap, last month um, for, you know, April, we decided, oh, let's go like Eastery brunchy vibes. And we settled on mini quiches, potato salad, and deviled eggs, AKA a trio of appetizers. And a when, of appetizers. When I came around to cooking them, I quickly realized that that was a lot. It was a huge <laughs> mistake labor wise, but it's fine. We'll go on this journey together. It'll be great. Uh, I know my food at least came out tasty. Uh, we'll only find out how <laughs> later on my well last time i crushed it with the chicken pot pie we did it was not chicken pot pie what <laughs> what did we make oh my god we made a shepherd's pie <laughs> i like the idea oh, that yeah. those things are interchangeable though despite the fact that there was no chicken it's like a meat it's like a meat pie thing it's there the was same. no meat in our day yeah but it was uh, supposed to be a meat there's supposed to be sheep in there uh, I think there's actually supposed to be beef, but anyway, um, this month was still vegetarian because we did the aforementioned trio of apps, but anyway, enough <laughs> enough about Colin's basement and my despair. Let's just get right into how you make them. Oh, I will preface this by saying you will not be seeing the deviled eggs how-to unless you visit uh, the 2MB Studios Patreon. Colin, you want to explain why they won't be seeing deviled eggs footage? I was too tired to make the devil eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so we just want to get that disclaimer out of the way before the people and the commentary at riot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did make them and you can find my instructions on the Patreon. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, here's uh, two out of the three of the trio of apps. How to. <laughs> I uh, did make a trio. You'll just be seeing how to make two out of the three. Um, so we started off with the potato salad here. Um, I did feel the need to clarify that scallions were green onions after what happened last time. This is just a little <laughs> ingredient spread. Um, you can see I store my herbs in vases in water because that helps them keep a little longer. Uh, scallions especially will truly grow forever um, if you play your cards right. So pro tip for you. Um, yeah, just, um, just some classic potato washing and scrubbing here. Um, I guess I'm struggling with that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mostly because I didn't want to reposition my camera 20,000 times, which is why I brought the bowl of water over here. But you can just see um, these potatoes were like mildly aged. So what I was doing there is just kind of scrubbing off some of the bits that didn't look so good. Um, and then you just want to cut them into slices, which will help them cook faster when we're boiling them for a salad. Um, I still love having the peels on my potatoes, so I did not 
peel them, but of course, if you do not enjoy pota uh, potato peels, then feel free to peel first. I don't really consider potato salad a salad. It's like a... Oh, I, yeah, I feel like it's it's not... There's really no perfect. like green things in it. It's just like <laughs> just like a bunch I of potatoes. Salad had a lot of green in it, though, I will it? say. Mm. Oh, I do want to take a moment to shout out my cousin, Carolyn and Tony for getting me this Dutch oven after I complained last time. <laughs> <laughs> the benefits are already coming in for you on the show. Uh, so yeah, shout out to them. Um, potato Where are my benefits from the show? I didn't I get know. one. I don't know. Um, I'm sorry. You get to use all your mom's sweet kitchen gear all the time. <laughs> so, and some would argue abuse said kitchen gear. <laughs> oh, uh, Emily brings up a good point. You didn't make the third app. So. I thought about making the third app. Then <laughs> I was going to make it and then I got sleepy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so you just want to boil them and then you eventually poke them with the fork to see that they're piercing easily. Um, you do want to reserve a, reserve, bleh, reserve a little bit of the cooking water, which is why I poured it into the liquid measuring cup there. Um, and then um, once again, if you have a lid, that'll make draining a lot easier, which is how I drained out the rest of the water. But now we're doing the herbs part to make this an herbed potato salad. Um, I do like mayo based potato salads, but I just, I recently discovered this one, which is more like an herb and mustard sauce. And I really liked it. And I felt like it was pretty easy and straightforward. Um, so just kind of slathered on a potato kind of guy, call that a <laughs> potato salad. <laughs> so we're just chopping up our parsley and scallions here. You can see I'm not being like super careful about mincing it because we are going to blend it. Um, my very shaky camera footage as I'm like trying to hold my phone with one hand and like, <laughs> operate the blender with the other. Um, do not try this at home. It was very precarious. Um, but you can see just the things go in there. There's also some uh, garlic and olive oil and mustard. Um, but, oh, and then you did want to add a little bit of the potato cooking water to help make that uh, more of a dressing as opposed to just like a chunky herb mix um yeah and then you just scrape it out um a pro tip i've learned with my blending is if you do get a little bit stuck at the bottom there just add a little bit of in this case you could use the potato water just kind of slosh it around and get the last of it out um but yeah just mix it over relatively easy and then we're just going to chop a little bit of parsley and scallions again this one is going to be a little more finer so we can get a little more fresh brightness as a garnish for our salad um, and the reason I made this first, is this one can keep uh, in the refrigerator um, beforehand, whereas the other ones you want to eat, you know, more live. That's not the right term. Right away. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So just some classic salt and pepper to get our seasoning in. Fancy. And then, yeah, just mix it. I know. I know what salt and pepper is. <laughs> so call it. We've been doing this for six months, man. <laughs> <laughs> Salt comes from the sea and pepper comes from the air. Um, right. And then this is the pie crust <laughs> because that's right. We made our pie crust for our mini quiches. Um, Mistake. Didn't like care for that. <laughs> so we're also doing this ahead of time because uh, the pie crust does need to rest for two hours. Um, so which is why I actually recommend it doing it earlier um the actual recipe i use actually calls for butter and shortening but i didn't feel like buying shortening because who's who's using who's using short like i'm it's, uh, it just keeps in your fridge forever um so i just replaced the shortening portion with butter so this is a super buttery crust um <laughs> colin why do you keep going into a deeper basement every episode my family is upstairs sleeping. Do you wish that I wake them with my <laughs> yammering? <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, we're just scooping in the flour here. Um, I will say an important thing about the, the butter is you do want to keep it cold. Uh, I feel like most of the times when you bake, they ask for your butter to be like room temperature or melted. But with pie crust, you really want like not frozen because it's hard to manipulate, but like a decently cold um, temperature and it should be cubed to help mix things together more easily. 
Just gonna storm into their bedrooms and wake them up. <laughs> you see that I initially tried with the spatula, then with the two forks, um, and then I think eventually I just gave up and moved my hands, which is the easiest way to truly mix this dough, to be honest. I really tried with the forks for this minute, more than a minute. It's what the recipe asked for, and then I was like, these forks are not handling it, so I, <laughs> so I just used my hands in the end. <laughs> um, and what you're looking for here, you'll know your dough is um, ready when the like butter becomes like pretty small molecules, you know, maximum like pea sized, I would say. Um, and they're starting to like glob together. Um, yes, and then you're gonna need to add ice water. Again, we want everything to be as cold as possible um, when you're making this dough, which will help it come together for the right consistency and texture. Um, so yeah, just mix that mix that water in. You're gonna want to do it in portions, um, just so you're not like dumping it all at once. And just looking for that sweet, sweet, not too crumbly, not too wet <laughs> <laughs> dough mixture. There you go. Now you can see it's coming together. Stop adding water when dough begins to form large clumps. You really don't want it to get too watery here, um, but you also don't want it to be too crumbly. It is, I'll admit, making making dough is a... That's not a very good uh, metric for me. <laughs> <laughs> not too watery, not too crumbly. Um, and then as always, you're gonna wanna flour your uh, cutting board or rolling board um, to work on your dough with. Um, it's also helpful to like flour your hands as much as you can too. Um, and then you're gonna move the dough over there you go. And just like knead it for for a minute, for a while, more than a minute. I should stop using a minute as my generic unit of time measurement because it's definitely longer <laughs> than a minute. <laughs> I too also can't wait to see how Colin handled this. <laughs> Expertly and with great prowess. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so you can see it's still kind of crumbly here. So really what I was trying to do is make sure we get all those bits in there and that the dough came together. Um, and then eventually you're gonna shape it into this ball and then flatten it um, into a disc that looks like that. And then you're gonna wrap it with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least two hours, but it can keep, I actually made this the day before I did the rest My of these. My plastic wrap? Um, just because it's a tight seal and you don't want it to like, dry out or anything um i see yeah so you're gonna use that pie dough from earlier um how high is your criteria for something being <laughs> shaped? i'll admit not very high my meatballs have also sometimes uh been more on the the frisbee end of the spectrum um <laughs> yeah. anyhow now we're making the filling for the quiche um we're gonna use six eggs, half cup milk, and some salt and pepper. Um, just cracking them right in there. Um, you can see that just hanging out. Salt and, salt and pepper in, milk in. That's not the proper use of the <laughs> verb milk. <laughs> um, oh, I do like a frisbee shaped meatball is just a cider. Yeah, I'd agree with that. That's fine though. Sometimes then you, you gotta go out and buy buns. It's not a slider unless it's on a bun. Right? I, I, I guess that is an important distinction. Um, I do want to point out, just because Colin had some trouble with this, I am using the liquid measuring cup for my milk. Just that is a physical measuring cup for <laughs> solids. It doesn't matter. It any doesn't measuring matter. cup, Any measuring cup can measure any material. <laughs> That's wrong. You learn that with your cake. Anyhow, um, you're going to want to beat the eggs and the milk together so that's all incorporated ideally um it should be all one consistent color you're not seeing like the streaks of yellow or white it should all just come together in this like pale yellow color as you see here uh poured it back into my measuring glass because we're going to need to pour it later so i figured it'd just be easier to pour out of there and now we're going to work with the dough so ideally you have a pastry cutter for this step but i am a lazy person who has never bought a pastry cutter in my life <laughs> So I ended up using. What does a pastry cutter look like? Um, just like a circle thing. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Again, I don't have one. So you never I, told me to use a rolling pin. I, I say roll out the dough. How are you rolling out the dough? With my hands like a man. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Colin, I'm 100% sure I listed rolling pin as I'm one. I'm 100% sure you didn't. I use. always do. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> deeply concerned about this now. Um, my dough was a little sticky, which is why I put some flour on the rolling pin there, as you can see directly. Um, we'll cover Colin's sins when we reach his portion of the show. <laughs> why are you? <laughs> body shame my hairy arms. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, you really want to try and roll this out as thin as you can um, and continue with flour. As you can see, this was a little sticky, which is why I'm constantly adding flour to it. Um, yeah, really getting stuck there. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know if you can tell um, that is like pretty, pretty thin. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. You just want it thin enough that it doesn't stretch and break. So that's like your, so yes, you can see I'm using the one cup to I cut like out. The shape of them. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize I was going to get the handle in there, which is why you can see I adjusted my cutter technique <laughs> <laughs> for the subsequent circles. Um, and then I wanted, I was, you know, rotating it around to try and help scrape the dough out. Um, it will be kind of stretchy, which will be fine because it does need to reach uh, the edges of your muffin tin. Um, so don't worry if you like pull more than just the circle out and you can kind of see I'm stretching it out here to help make placing in our muffin tins a little easier. Um, and then you're going to roll out the or roll together the remaining dough from the scraps um, and kind of do the same thing where you roll it out into one layer um, so you can continue cutting until you have 12. Um, so don't waste dough. You can always use it uh, just because it looks ago doesn't mean you can't refresh it. <laughs> Colin, was that you? Me? <laughs> I don't no, know. I thought I heard the people. Are, people oh. are moving around upstairs, rustling oh. around. It sounds like they're not sleeping. <laughs> they were sleeping. Anyway, you can see I just kind of like poke them in to these cups. Um, you're going to want to stretch them to try and make sure they hit the edges. You can see, still see I have some leftover dough, which will come into handy. Um, so you're going to want to press it. So ideally it covers not just the bottom, but some of the sides. But as you can see, some of my edges are not quite hitting um, yeah, not really the, the tops of the of you. I'm sorry. Uh, you did not use a rolling pin, so that was not very <laughs> Um, but yeah, because yes. I want more fine-tuned roll that you can only get with these with your hands. digits. Anyway, you can see that I'm using <laughs> the leftover dough um, to kind of fix the patches um, that we have going on in here. Um, and then I started adding the filling. So I use salad greens and shredded cheese. Um, you can use cubed ham or bacon or peas just anything like relatively small that you can fit into these cups um works great um but yeah i used the salad greens um and the cheese because i knew they would cook relatively quickly you definitely don't want to pick something like carrots um unless they're pre-cooked because root vegetables do take longer to cook down as colin learned <laughs> last time so yeah just the cheese um, you're going to try and want to make sure every portion is as even as you can manage and like try and make sure, um, you get those loose cheese back into the cup once you're done. And then finally you're going to pour the egg mixture. Technically, I think you're supposed to have a little more, um, space from the top than I did, but say la vie, here we are. Um, my cups were pretty full and it still worked out okay. So don't worry too hard, but if you are worried about your things, maybe potentially over baking, it's always safe to um, put the thing you're baking on like the top rack of the oven and then put like an empty baking tray on the bottom rack to potentially catch anything that might spill over. So I'm always down to eat some uncooked. Mini <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she would prefer them cooked. Um, Colin, a question in the chat for you. What is that? That's not a question for me. <laughs> Colin could have still made the egg, egg but, and just threw them all together. 
<laughs> uh, anyway, took them out. Um, these got a little more puffy than I think I would have preferred, but here are the quiches. Um, obviously, those are, yeah, those are way too puffy. Well, I'm very concerned to see. How <laughs> Anyway, um, but yes, you're going to want to loosen them from the edge to make sure that the crust is fully cooked. Um, I did forget to mention it, but you definitely should have sprayed the pan with oil or butter or whatnot before you loaded things in just to make sure things aren't incredibly stuck in there. Um, I did have a little trouble kind of nudging these guys out, but they, they came out eventually. There we go. Come on, buddy. I like to like motivate my food by speaking to it. Um, just like give them a little bit like words of affirmation and encouragement. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's the final product. Um, the deviled eggs, as you can see in the mm. um, and again, if you want to see how we make them, go to the Patreon. But yes, Colin, how do you feel? I feel fantastic. I think I did a better job than even you did. Again, you didn't make the deviled eggs. So yeah. <laughs> the max score you could get here is a D plus. So yeah, but if I did make the deviled eggs, that would be seven percent completion. Um, so <laughs> max score you could get here is a D plus. Well, I'm hoping that I pass then. <laughs> uh, I think I got hundreds on the potato salad and the and the quiche. We'll find out. But in the meantime, we're gonna test Colin with my favorite portion of the show: quiz it. Right. Why is this your favorite portion of the show? Just because you I thought me your favorite portion of the show should be when we hang out, have fun together. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's really really nice too. Really <laughs> enjoy that that bit. Um, oh, can we get just like a quick full screen ghost cursor? <laughs> just so we don't reveal it's things. It can't be done. <laughs> I think it's the present. On the top, there we go. <laughs> All right, quiz it right. So we're starting with uh, the gap <laughs> I noticed from last time, which is name the allium. Colin, do you remember what an allium is? When did we use all? What is it? I don't even know. I've never seen that word in my life. I've definitely talked about alliums before. It is the group name for the onion family. Oh. And how? Uh, let's ask the question. There you go. There are your alliums. So you're going to match each one to its picture. These are all alliums. Yes. That was my answer. No, you need to identify no. which one is which. All right. A is garlic. B is scallion. C is shallot. D is onion. And E is leeks. What are the answers? Oh, I just... You did it! You got it right on the first try! Yeah, goddamn right. <laughs> uh, once again, though, last time I asked you to use shallots and you bought scallions because you claimed they looked the same. <laughs> I just want to be clear how much they do the, not look the same. The names look the same. Scallion and shallot, it's like it's like not... They both have two names. Like a shallot is a, is a red onion. No, that's not a, a red onion. A scallion is a green that's onion. Not you can a red see onion. how I would get confused. Scallions are green onions or spring onions, but I do want to be clear that shallots are 100% not red onions. <laughs> <laughs> um, a red onion is what you see in the foreground of that the onion trio there. No, um, that's a purple onion. No. Okay. <laughs> Take the win. I'm giving you the question, and you're digging yourself a hole you didn't have to dig. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just want to, I lifted this choice quote that Colin <laughs> last time that he attributed to the blue guy from Watchmen. <laughs> Who Colin, I now know is called Dr. Virginia. No. Nope. <laughs> All right. This picture or this question arose from, we've had a lot of concerns about your chopping technique and I realized we never covered this basic so which picture is showing the safest way to cut vegetables? Mm, the they're all the same. <laughs> they're always <not laughs> the a knife. Probably the well the B is a cheese. I'm pretty sure those are carrots. <laughs> they're cubed cheeses. No. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with 
Uh, C. You're going with C? Yeah. What's the right answer? Yes, it was C, but are you aware why it's the safest? I don't know. Because you, you would say that? You would say it's the safest? I'm just, going, I'm just trying to please you here. <laughs> it's safest because the tips of your fingers are kind of curved under. I don't know how much you can see from that photo. So, like, the likelihood of you cu cutting your fingers is much lower. You might scrape your knuckle, but it won't be as bad if that does happen. And there is distance between your hands. Why didn't you tell me this? Why didn't you tell me this before? Why didn't I know, you tell me this I'm on sorry. the first episode? That's on, me. That's on me for not giving you the basic <laughs> cutting 101 when we started this show. So I'm rectifying this. I only, I only, I'm, and I, I want to be clear, I haven't cut myself severely thus far. Didn't you cut yourself last time? I nicked myself, but I didn't draw blood. So that is an important distinction. Um, I do want to point out the danger with A is, as you can see, the thumb is, like, really close. Like, the likelihood of you cutting there is high. And the other good thing about C is you can see <laughs> the knife. It's, like, she's to the left or, oh, you know, to the side of the chopping. So it's not like if you manage to lose control, the likelihood of you stabbing yourself is, is low. Um, so just some things to note when we're when we're cutting but that's two for two so far colin this might be our magical i am two. the best here we go three for three the hat trick again <laughs> that's right i'm asking this question for the second time because you were stunningly wrong last episode so identify <laughs> each type of sugar <laughs> oh goodness all right c is brown sugar a is granulated sugar B is powdered sugar. D is, can't, oh God. <laughs> A is A is granulated sugar. B is powdered sugar. <laughs> C is brown sugar. D is confectioner sugar. What about cane sugar? There's no cane sugar. <laughs> Maybe so A is also cane sugar. <laughs> B is, B is also cane sugar. <laughs> just go through just go through the list. Which one's brown? C is brown. Which one's cane? Cane is D. <laughs> Which one's confectioners? B. <laughs> Which one's granulated? A is granulated sugar. And which one's powdered? <laughs> as well. <laughs> Show me the answer. I think you got one out of four. I think you <laughs> identified A as Kane, so maybe one and a half out of four. But last time we got zero out of four. So well, I'm I not gonna just be. I'm just not just gonna be looking at random piles of sugar. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh, which pile of sugar do I use? This is how I store sugar. Okay, I'm gonna be looking at labels. All, the label does tell you what kind it is, and you still picked the wrong sugar last time. Because so you didn't, you do. fucked up the ingredients. I did you, not. You I just did said, not you, you said, you didn't say not to use confectioner sugar for the I entire I said use cake. granulated sugar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You just said sugar. How am I supposed to know there's different types of sugar? <laughs> That's what we're trying to make clear to you, Colin. <laughs> and I just want to remind you, okay, we'll give them... Two out of three. We were so close to three out of three. I really only get two and a half. No, you had one, one, right? You one out of four. So give me a two point two five. Okay, fine. You can have a two point two five. You have neutral face with the slightest uptick of a smile. There. <laughs> Does that make you happy? Yes. Okay. Very happy. Two out of three. We're still searching for that elusive three out of three quiz. How did I do last week? I could have sworn I got three out of three last week. No. Not last week. Last no. month. No. You, one, got the sugars wrong. I think you got two out of three again. I think that's your that's your sweet spot. That's my threshold. <laughs> Anyhow. It can't be done. On the heels of this ostensible success, let's see how Colin cooked his duo of appetizers. Duo de trois. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my ingredients shot wasn't the best look at this dog who's the dog tell us about the dog 
that's Gabe. Uh, I was taking care of him for uh, a couple days while my friend's wow, family was in Arizona. Really, really wants to eat. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a face of hunger. He wants some garlic. <laughs> he just looks sad all the time, and I just like. He likes to wake up at like 6 a.m. and he just like oh, stares at me. He doesn't like make any noises. He just stares at me. Oh, <laughs> what's going on there, buddy? <laughs> I don't Kevin, know. Wh why are you struggling? What's going on with your butter? What are you peeling? I'm peeling the out the outside off. I don't think it should be that hard to peel. Why are you using the liquid measuring cup? <laughs> There's no other measuring cups in this cabin that I was in. <laughs> Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. We'll see, I guess. Also, um, I will say it seemed more like you sliced your butter. Did those seem like cubes to you? I don't know. What's a cube? What's the difference? You don't know the difference between a cube? It's like a tablespoon. It's like a tablespoon of butter. When you slice along the lines, that's what it tells you to slice. I said to cube it. I don't know. What does it matter if it's all getting mashed up anyways? I mean, cubing is smaller pieces, so it would be easier to mash. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell to anyway, um, I am realizing in hindsight, I might not have said that you can retreat from the forks and just use your hands. So I don't know how much of Colin. I got there eventually. Trying to just <laughs> crush this butter <laughs> with the forks. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Just some <laughs> this low, is the rest of the show. <laughs> fork mashing of butter. Oh man! I like that you're swirling too. What was what was the? Was I don't the, know, Jamie. <laughs> trying to really get it in there. <laughs> oh, is Gabe gonna be in this whole footage? Because I love it. Oh no, where's Gabe? <laughs> he was. Oh. <laughs> I like the slow swirling with the spatula. <laughs> I don't even know what I don't even know what I'm doing in this part of the You're <laughs> in the ice water. Um I only see water, so I'm guessing you poured out the ice water in a separate container. Kate's a yeah, little well, crumbly. So I froze the uh I put the water in the ice cubes and then I ice tray and then it's I put so in so much fridge. flour on the cutting board. <laughs> I meant like a dusting. Oh my god, Colin, that's so much flour. Dear Lord. I just wanted to be I just wanted to be sure I had enough flour. Oh no. I just also, do everything so I can to impress you. Too crumbly for this step. I can already tell you that. Okay, you are managing to shape it together to some degree, I guess. Oh, game's back. Gabe sensed you had too much flour. <laughs> That's why he left. <laughs> I and also sensed that I had too much flour, which is why I was scooping it away. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I figured. I figured. I do want to give you credit. Yes, Emily is right. Um, making your own dough is is pretty at least intermediate level stuff. It is not what what's going on. <laughs> water from the ice. Cream. I needed more water. It wasn't sticking together. You would have done that in the bowl at least. Oh, Colin. <laughs> you know what, Jamie? Not all of us have your expert cooking knowledge. You know, sometimes <laughs> we make mistakes, and that's what's important. That's what I want everyone to take away from the show is oh, that we, sometimes we make mistakes, but we learn from them and we get better. Okay. You have a lot of dough left in the pot that I'm slightly concerned about. Um, but why are you wrapping it in foil? I didn't have any plastic wrap. And you didn't think you could buy some? At the nearest store is like a half hour away. <laughs> I don't want to drive there. Well, I appreciate you doing your best to seal this tightly <laughs> with the aluminum <laughs> Um. Yeah. I. I. What? Oh, I enjoy the hero shot of games. <laughs> Was this intentional? Yeah, I filmed Gabe eating my delicious. <laughs> Uh, dog food <laughs> organizations. <laughs> Did you just do this for for points? 
Well, I didn't have anyone else to eat anything, so I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this trying is now to get, trying to get the audience on my side here. This is now a cooking show and a dog show. <laughs> oh, he looks like he's having a good time. At least somebody in this kitchen is. <laughs> I was having a blast. Cooking is my life's work and passion. <laughs> <laughs> oh man what are you doing in the background while this is happening i am i don't know washing my hands washing things you just thought <laughs> that gabe deserved his time in the spotlight i don't know why this is i don't know why there's this much video but <laughs> i think it's i think it's fine <laughs> <laughs> he's licking wow. it clean that's how much he likes what i gave him there you go. All right. Now we're doing the quiche mixture. Oh, yeah. Once again, in the pot, which is fine, I guess. This is the next day, I believe. Yes. I think I'm wearing different pants. What was the... How are you cracking your eggs? Did you just, like, break it? What, what? do you mean? You, like, tap it on the counter or, or, like, that. Yeah, that makes more sense. That's what I was doing. It was just a, it was an illusion that you couldn't perceive. What what are you pouring in? Is that pepper? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't have any like I didn't have any black pepper. <laughs> so was that white pepper? I don't know what it is. It's it just probably... normal pepper you put in a pepper thing. Oh boy. Well, it'll probably be fine. It's just there for seasoning. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that's a pretty good color. Okay. Okay. Good mixing. Good whisking. I enjoy that you're using the same pot as before. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, I guess this works. <laughs> That's one way to I do never it. And then a spritzer. Where'd you, where'd you get this technique? Huh? Where'd you get this technique? That's, that's, a, pure Colin, that's a pure Colin original. You just thought, let me pour some, from some olive oil brain. onto a paper towel. And here we go, just with the hands. Oh, no. You also understand that you Why can't you? roll it out thin enough with just... <laughs> I like that he sped it up. <laughs> um, I guess I should have said, if you don't have a rolling pin, you could have used, like, a bottle. But nope, we're just going to get you trying to press out this dough as thin as possible. <laughs> You never mentioned the rolling pin. I definitely did. I definitely did. But sure, we'll just get you pressing the dough out with your hands. I also, I honestly thought at this point, this is not our first time working with the rolling pin, I don't think. So I, I would have thought. We've never used it before. What have we used, what have we used it for? Look how look how smooth I'm getting that baby out. Not at all smooth. Okay, mac and cheese, no. Salmon, Nicely no. Rolled. What was episode three? Why am I blanking? I don't <laughs> think we ever used the rolling pin before, but now I know. <laughs> the cup also is an acceptable way of cutting out dough. So good, good save there. Even though this is assuredly probably too thick, but we'll see. We'll see. I appreciate that Gabe just continues to watch you. He's a very he's a very mournful dog. He just <laughs> it just makes me feel bad. I'm not giving him love 100 percent of the time. <laughs> did you did you flower this cutting board before you started rolling on it? It's possible that I did not. Yeah, yeah, I can sense that by by your peeling challenges. <laughs> Here. Oh man. Oh Colin. Rolling pins, man. Just remember. Just remember. Gabe is a dog. He doesn't understand rolling pins. I think even Gabe knows. <laughs> he would never ask that question. <laughs> he was with his eyes, he was trying to signal to you that you needed a rolling pin. His mournful eyes. <laughs> Okay, all right, we got there. We got there. This looks oh, yeah. almost acceptable. 
almost acceptable as what we're going for. <laughs> Wait, you just left all those scraps on the board. You know what? Um, what did you do with the leftover dough? Sometimes you you just got to throw out the leftover dough. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. You, you made me get too much. You made me make too much dough. Yeah. That's your problem. Oh, oh, uh, you know what, Colin? I see you are using the chef's knife as a as have... challenge, too. I didn't have the option of a bread knife. I am slightly worried about your technique there. I really hope we don't see blood today. Well, if I had the quiz last time, then I wouldn't have had this issue. That's valid. That's valid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is Gabe trained in, like, rescue in case something happened? Uh, no, if, if something happened and I like chopped off my finger, I would bleed to death and no one would be around to save me. <laughs> but you didn't, clearly. Look at that. It's true. I'm oh. still here. Oh, man. The big hunk of cheese in there. So is your feeling just the cheese and the scallions? I also put in uh, some leafy greens. Um, I thought I said to do the leaves first but it's fine i'm sure it's fine <laughs> <laughs> oh i appreciate you shredding yours i did not bother with that i just kind of dunked them in there <laughs> yeah i was like jamie's making me put like full chunks of <laughs> leaf in here that's what i did <laughs> oh so you could fit them in the tablespoon Oh, you were much more no. formal. I kind of eyeballed it. <laughs> I just learned that eyeballing is very risky. <laughs> that is fair. For you, it probably is. So I appreciate oh, for you. For you, it probably is. You need an extra Colin, chef. Colin, I don't know where the table's You didn't from. use a rolling pin. <laughs> yeah, you, because you didn't tell me to in the instructions. What are you doing? What, what are you? Are you just scooping out the <laughs> with the tablespoon. Oh my Listen. lord. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, finally, we figured out a more efficient method, sort of, of pouring. Well, I out. wanted to be precise with my measurements. Oh boy. all coming along. I'm deeply nervous about this. Why are you deeply nervous? So many reasons, Colin. Okay, but that looks pretty solid. All right, there you go. Ooh, that's kind of a fun looking oven. This oven's from probably like the 1940s. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool though. Ooh, yours got real puffy. That's what I'm all about. Puffy. Why are you using the hands? Use both hands. Use both hands. <laughs> what are they resting on? The oven. The stove top? Huh? The stove? I mean, ideally, you would have put them on a rack. Oh, I see you're putting them back in. Yeah, I did a little, do a little... A little slice and dice there. Oh man, you got some chunkers of red potatoes. <laughs> yeah, they're they're too big. The only thing the only thing they sell in the Adirondacks are big potatoes. Those are huge. You whole, whole store. <laughs> oh, oh my whole store oh my god. Potatoes. Oh my god. 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 Please don't hurt yourself. Oh my god. What's happening? What's happening? No. Why are you? No. 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 Oh, man. I, mean, I still have all my fingers here. here. Good. No That's slices. Good. All right. <laughs> Finally using the pot as a pot. <laughs> Did they not have bowls here? Is that what you were using? Hmm? Did they what? not have bowls in the house? A bowl? Yeah, from the mixing stuff. Every oh, they did. Why can't I just mix it in the pot? It's fine, I guess. What are you doing here? Oh, you're trying to scoop yeah, out the water. Yeah, water. Now you're draining. Okay. Drain life. 
<laughs> Your potato slices are so huge. <laughs> I like that you're putting the scallions in. Oh, did you not have a blender? No, I didn't have a blender. So you had to mix this by hand? Yeah. All right. I appreciate I appreciate the effort. What what are you doing with your car no Carl Colin, what are you doing? How do I I don't I didn't understand the garlic. Oh no. I wish I didn't buy just a thing of garlic. I wish I because oh. they had pre chopped garlic. Oh no, I probably should have asked you to do that. So you know a clove is just one of those things, right? The bulb is the whole thing. One of those need... little things is a clove. One of those one of those little things is a clove? Yeah. Not the entire bulb. <laughs> you had a whole bulb of garlic? <laughs> oh my god. Oh Carl. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, someone yeah. had a real garlicky potato salad, I could see. And hopefully no skin. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh man. All right. I see I'm gonna have to teach you some some garlic tips for next time. <laughs> Um, I will say, well, one, you only needed a clove, so which is why I didn't feel it was necessary for this. But a tip I did learn once is if you place a full bulb in a bowl and then put another bowl on top and you like shake them really hard for like 30 seconds to a minute, um, it will help most of the skin. Um, Interesting. Off, which is like one of my least favorite steps. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this will definitely ward off any vampires uh, that you yeah. had in there. <laughs> That's good because I was in alone in a creepy cabin. I was prime vampire target. <laughs> so well until garlic came. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just all that remnant garlic on the cutting board, too. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Why do they even sell garlic in the full bulbs if you don't need that much? I mean, you do sometimes. Okay, now you're dunking them in the bowl. What's going on? I've got to stir it up now. What? Oh, you're trying to open? <laughs> trying to open what the line. Doing? Oh, the lime juice? Yeah. For the acid? Oh, yeah, baby. We had said to use lemon juice, but we didn't have any. That's fine. Lime is fine. It's just for the sauce to help brighten it up, which apparently you will need since you added five tons of garlic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing my potatoes are so big because then they'll <laughs> soak up true. some of the garlic. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. And your where's your oil? My oil. There should be oil in this. What oil? Vegetable Olive oil? oil? Oh. oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I I don't know. Maybe I put it in. Maybe Matt missed it. <laughs> it looks like you never added oil to this. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. So it's just herbs and potato water and mustard. This is your dressing. <laughs> Oh no! I didn't have a blender. You were working at a disadvantage without the blender, but also to be fair, you didn't. You missed a key ingredient. <laughs> allegedly, potentially, it was, it was not allegedly. <laughs> was there at least a hand mixer at this place, Colin? What is, I don't even know what that is. Like a electric mixer? No, there wasn't. Oh, Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I didn't look too hard. <laughs> oh, boy. I said, oh, is there a blender? And then they said no. see those chunks of garlic over this salad. <laughs> oh, man. This is just potatoes and garlic and a handful of herbs. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. 
I mean, I guess as long as you and <laughs> so there's our quiche and there's our potato salad. Oh boy! Also, the uh -oh. quiche, I, the quiche looks so. The quiche coming out fresh looked amazing, but this I had to reheat it because I froze it because I thought I was gonna have someone to feed it to, but then I didn't. So I had to reheat it for myself and eat, eat it alone. <laughs> That's right, because uh, Colin was dog slash house sitting. He was all by his lonesome. So unfortunately, we do not have footage of Colin's parents today, but we do have footage of my parents so we can get to the tasting portion. <laughs> These, uh, these quiches do actually lend well to being reheated, so fun fact. Oh, did we lose audio? That was fair, sir. I don't think we can hear anything. <laughs> holding, holding for, for technical stuff. This is, a, this is a disaster. This is not a disaster, <laughs> except for your potato salad, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if I had a blender, it would have been. It would have been. If I knew, and if I knew, and if I knew what a bulb of <laughs> a, a clove. clove? Was. And also, if you had added <laughs> oil, I think I did add oil. You a hundred percent did not add oil. That sauce had zero oil in it. <laughs> so we have deviled Thank eggs, uh, mustard-style potato salad, and quiche muffins. That was it looks very good. What's one of my favorite uh, appetizers. So I also like it when I go to tea. I like to do English tea. So. She does. Okay. So looks very good. I'm glad that passed the presentation test. Now we have to pass the the taste test. Can I use my hand? Yes. It just looks very nice. <laughs> very colorful. Mm -hmm. You're going to start with that? Sure. Don't forget the potato salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to try some potato salad. Mm. This looks very, very good. Yeah, but how does it taste? It tastes good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dad's going for the quiche muffin. Not just stopping there, huh? Yeah, uh, salad greens and cheese. So he's a little bit soft. <laughs> I know that's okay. My mom Dad always get the quiche muffin. Salt. That's what I need to be aware of. <laughs> With my That's okay. <laughs> I actually like this show because um, some of the ones that you could have is a hotter show. Mm -hmm. I think I like the softest one. It's actually it's all pretty, butter. Pretty even better, yeah. Tissues don't look good. Dad, you want to try the potato salad? Sorry, I know. <laughs> um, I believe Scooby Scooby gave us a thumbs up. You can see those are eyes of approval, unlike Gabe's eyes of mourning. <laughs> He's just a very sorrowful. He missed his family. That was the problem. That's fair. I was That's a poor. I was a poor co. I was just like some stranger who was driving him around places and. <laughs> Almost called me by my sister's name. Yeah, that's okay. That's the one of the things that parents do most. They tend to name the person in front of them the other person's name. <laughs> I remember when uh, you're little, I'm not here, and she's taking care of uh, Alicia a lot. Alicia so taking her. She called out a hand, which is the Okay, that potato salad assessment. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, yes. with that note, we will sign off because my hands are tired. <laughs> <laughs>
So that's what the parents taste test. Colin, are you ready to show your taste test? I mean, I could just tell you how it tasted. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to see. I want to see the footage. I know it's there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Getting ready to try my beast here. Um, I reheated the mini quiche. I think a little too long, but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> it was not very good. Um, I think my big mistake was using lime instead of. No, that was not your big mistake. I know that now. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a super weird taste, but it's not terrible. So I'm gonna label this a win. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna try the quiche. I'm gonna eat the best, try the best looking one. <laughs> ah, that's crispy. <laughs> Shoots right out the bottom. It's a huge chunk. I know. You just that's went still pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. This video is so sad. <laughs> the flavor is good. The, the dough is good. <laughs> Double win here. <laughs> video, the, that's the saddest. But watching that like is very jarring for me to watch like something that pathetic. <laughs> I do want to applaud you. You made your own pie dough, okay? That is that is indeed some intermediate advanced level stuff. So pat yourself on the back for that one. Honestly, honestly, the mini quiches, if I do say, are the best thing I've made so far on the show. There you like, go. So I, would you cl classify it as a hulu food? I would. I think I think they're really good. I really what like about the potato salad. Potato salad's also good. And I did have someone eat the mini quiches, just not on camera, and they also like them. So Okay. Okay. Mini well. quiches win. Potato salad, I threw out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think that's valid. Well, you know, good job. Good job, Colin. You did it. You made two out of three. You made one out of three. Except <laughs> um, <laughs> Yes, once again, if you do want to see my deviled egg footage, you can check out the Patreon, boo, 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 patreon.com slash 2MB studios. But all right, we got to prepare for May. What are we doing in May? Chat, what are we feeling? I will take a moment to say, after last month, I will not let myself be ruled by all of your <laughs> sadistic choices. We are not making three things again. That was so... <laughs> Much labor. It took me two days. I don't know how long it took, Colin. Kebabs can be fun. I might be heading down to Alabama, so I could do some barbecue. Barbecue? Uh, my my birthday is in May. That is true. I don't I don't really know what to do with that. But well, I'll make you a cake. <laughs> I'll mail you some cake. Uh, I definitely do not want uh. <laughs> from you mailed please don't do that to the united states postal service they're going through it <laughs> well if i froze it if i shipped it in like a dry ice thing it would work i agree colin will likely injure himself with fried chicken so maybe no to that okay bobs could be fun i feel like i've been trying to get us to do ratatouille for a while but i don't know if it's gonna be too warm for ratatouille Mm -hmm, mm hmm Cold chicken? I don't want to eat cold chicken. <laughs> I'll, mail you, I'll mail you some cold chicken. How long would chicken last in an envelope? <laughs> um, I will say another thing I was considering is, Colin, do you feel ready to try cooking Chinese food? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I will do that. Yes, I will do it, and I will be respectful. 
<laughs> um, let's think. What is what is what is a what's a decent easy easy dish? Can you even make rice? Um, do you have a rice cooker? Because that's honestly how I cook my rice. I don't have a rice cooker. We could do noodles. Noodles means we don't have to worry about rice. And noodles and pasta are pretty easy. I mean, you still have to like boil them. <laughs> Um, hmm. We could do some kind of noodle stir fry. I don't have a dish handy, to be honest. You know what? Let's do ratatouille. Screw it. It's my birth month. Oh, scallion pancakes could be interesting. Oh, my God. I thought we just decided. <laughs> Ready to get out of here. <laughs> oh, oh, I think chat's, chat's on board. Scallion pancakes. Scallion pancakes and ratatouille? No, no I just Jamie, said we're not doing two things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making two. I'm not gonna. I can't even make. I'm not gonna make three things. I'm not gonna make two things again. One thing that I can master. <sighs> oh boy, yeah. I was thinking about that. Should we do it the way the movie did it? Because that would be a challenge. <laughs> But I'm worried about Colin's presentation abilities. But then also that's fun. Oh, with a trained rat handy, that would be nice. That would be. All right, chat, are you feeling ratatouille or scallion pancakes? Which one are we which one are we feeling? I'm very indecisive, so that's why I'm asking for guidance. Colin, what do you feel? I don't I don't know what either of those things are. Let's just <laughs> Let's just let's just make it a mystery, and we'll <laughs> let everyone know later. Ooh, ooh that's interesting. Oh, I like that. So it will be either ratatouille or scallion pancakes, and you'll just have to tune in next month to find Shit. out. Shit, yeah, that's oh, that's no. the hook. Oh, I like that yeah. birthday mystery. Hey, episode. you're hooked. You guys are hooked now. Can't get enough. Oh, we're leaving this on a cliff hanger. Boom. Ooh, right. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll be next month. I want to give a special shout out to Ben for being our awesome tech today. Claps, claps for Ben. Thank you, Ben. Claps for Colin for making dough and claps for all of you for making this a fun show. All right. See y'all next fourth Sunday at 3 p.m. Bye. Bye. We did it!